that Isla White. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the what year? Yeah, Isle of Wight Festival. I thought you were getting All-American. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> I watched that. The last thing I've watched is that White Lines thing. Oh, yeah. I but, watched that. I'd be for one. Yeah, but the Mank DJs and that, which... I don't know anyone looking like that when I was in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> My dad of four wonderful children. What parenting lessons do you have for them? Is it uh, do as I say and not as I do? Um, I don't really, I haven't got a leg to stand on, have I really? No. You know what I mean? When it comes to drugs, I go, listen, don't be, do, don't be doing drugs. And I, they'll go, well, you know, what about this? And I'll say to the boys, I'll say, don't be arguing with your brother. And they'll go, yeah. And I'll say, don't be treating the girls bad and all that. And they go, well, yeah. So it's a lot of and pointing in and going, oh, you know what? So basically, I just leave them to it and I go on tour. But gets on my... Uh, go for it. ...thing is yeah. Uber Eats, <laughs> McDonald's. So when you're over. I don't really eat a lot of McDonald's. The only time I do do it is when I've had a bit of a night and I'm thinking, oh, we'll just get that Uber Eats in. So you get all your drinks in and you get all your food in and they come and they don't have straws. I ain't ever seen a dolphin in a dog tooth suit. You have you? No, there you go, LG. I don't know. I have a bit of a psychedelic mind sometimes. Liam, I read somewhere that you started with music around 16 or 17 to find your passion for music because you had a bit of an out-of-body experience related to John Lennon. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, I was tripping at the time, yeah, my mate said. <laughs> and what did John say to you? What did he say? Don't go to Australia, it's raining. <laughs> He's come now with his helmet on and I'm like, ah, where's the straws, mate? And he's like, ah, oh, oh, I don't know, I'm like, ah. She says, hi Zoe, I made my son Anthony McCarthy, who was 40 in November, and he's a massive Liam and Oasis fan. I made him a special cake uh, with the words to Wonderwall around the cake. He loved it, loving your new song, Liam. She wanted me to show you the cake. Look at that, oh, Liam. That's, nice. that's good icing, that's isn't that's it? A good cake. The lightness is absolutely incredible there. Uh, our guests this morning, Trevor Nelson, Liam Gallagher, that and that Craig the front, Same that size, is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go to IB for much when you're younger, or even I now. Went, our kid had a house there once, years ago, which I nearly set fire to because he lent it me. What, how? Yeah, like this gaff on it. You almost sent fire to me. Yeah, man. So I get there, I'm getting a bit giddy, and I've got this, I've not seen it, man. <laughs> got the drinks out, got a cig out, and it's like right in the sea, and I've got a little percent, of, and I've flicked it. It's gone down the cliff, and then next minute there's loads of fire. <laughs> for yourself, because people don't buy music anymore, they yeah. download it, so there's no money in rock and roll. What else makes you furious that you have to yeah. do yourself? Open doors. Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing yourself, uh, you know what I mean? Remember them days in the 90s when people used to dress you? <laughs> and run your baths and stuff. Yeah, and in the Middle Ages as well. <laughs> First of all, we... I mean, do you get that everywhere you go, Liam? People... Oh, yeah, they totally. Liam! I, I brought him in there, man. <laughs> And is that because it... <laughs> it's better than Noel, right, isn't it? You know yeah. what I mean? So it could be worse, so. yeah. Probably had a couple of lagers, but I bought a remote control car, right? Proper, you know, big fat wheels on it. And next thing I'm looking out the lounge and I see Noel sat up on a wall with loads of microphones around him outside with an acoustic guitar. And I was like, what the fuck? What's, what's he doing, the student? And he's trying, I mean, he's trying to catch the atmosphere, you know, the birds singing and all that stuff. So I was like, I'm getting him. So I got this car and I'm like, I'm laughing this. <laughs> so I was like, right, got it in first gear. So like, his car's like, <laughs> can see no red light in his headphones. Like, the fuck's that noise? It's not a bird. You've got an album coming out, MTV Unplugged. Apparently so, yeah. Yeah, how's that? Um, it's either there or there, I'm a last man. The first time we went over there was when we went to fucking have a little snoop on the Stone Roses, wasn't it? And yeah. the night you drove the Combine Harvester yeah. over there. <laughs> Yeah. In the middle of the night, just we were going, let's, what the fuck are they up to? Because they hadn't been doing anything for years, and we sort of got off this... And I'm on about a proper combine a proper harvester. Big one, Ones yeah. that you got to get ladders up to, and it's like miles... It's higher than that fucking roof. Yeah. And he fucking starts it in one go, and off we fucking go. Irish, crawling, Irish blood. Crawling down the road with the big fucking lights on. It looked like yeah. fucking... It looked bonkers, and then we Warren fucking... Wells, I think we drove it into the thing. Turned the lights off and fucking rolled over like some other professionals and fucking doom 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 over the edge and then we fucking pops up and we could hear some fucking bass line and drums going on. And then we kind of hid and then I think I don't think we got caught, didn't we? And they brought I us in, didn't I, we? I don't think we brought the uh, combine out. We didn't bring the combine out, yeah, we left it there. Uh, so did you you proposed properly? You you did the proper uh, proposal? Thing? Yeah, I did it properly, man. I went down on two knees and begged her. <laughs> <laughs>
you'd wait, obviously you'd wait until you get your stuff done and that, but as soon as you get your stuff done, if that was done at one in the afternoon, then pub. you'd be in the pub by ten past one, you know what I mean? What is going on in this room now? Because walk next door to boys own you. Go in there and be like, hey, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, this fucking, this fucking, we've got to get this fucking thick together now because, like, it's not in time. And, like, if it's not in time, this fucking mean you going like, hey, you go in there, and it's like, hey, come on, hey. You know, but you come in this room and it's like, you know, it's the funny farm. And that's what it's all about. It's like, do you what you friggin' want? If you want to go like, that, do it because it don't mean nothing. If you want to go, oh, do that. If you want to go, hey, fuck, man. <laughs> like, um, hey, fuck, like, you do that. But if you want to just do this, <laughs> what I'm doing here now, just do it, like, because it's like, like this, this, this is an advert for not taking drugs. No, this is an advert. This is an advert. It's not, not getting into chemical no, abuse big time. Hey, 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 people who know, know <laughs> that I have not been a fucking, I've never been an abuser. No one's, I've never been an abuser. I've been a user. <laughs> I've never been an abuser, man. And then, no, I said, do drugs, do me the air, man, the air, the air, man. <laughs> and that is it, and that is it, and I'm ranting now. You know what I mean? It's right. Well, I think we're both unreasonable, and we're both... What was the other one? Reasonable. Reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, but right now, you seem to be being very reasonable. Being very, I don't, I don't know being, what Noel's saying, to be fair. I don't no, know he's what being he's that other word. Yeah, OK. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm being really, un, uh, I'm okay. being really reasonable. Well, then let's drill into this bit. So, is he being unreasonable, do you think, because you were once so unreasonable right. that he just thought, that's it, I'm done, not even ever going to change? Or is he being unreasonable because he is now just being unreasonable? You're doing well with this unreasonable. Yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> You're showing off now, aren't you? I think I've got it right, and it's a hard word for me to say. It, as a songwriter, can you only... No, I'm lying. No, no, no. Of course but, I believe you know, that. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Do you have to be feeling something at I the do. time to write? I've got to be honest. I've got to, I can't write songs about being young and on, unemployed yeah. and being 21 <clears> because I'm not, you know. Why do you write songs but, about me being 29 and very good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Did no, a walk no, instead? Done a long walk instead because I've had a little bit of a... Problem with my hip, because Debbie decided to get on, a, got me on a horse okay. on holiday, and the horse was about that wide. So, and I, like that. it was hard work getting over the top of it, and I've got sore hips anyway. So, a bit, I'm a bit done. Your hip in. Bit sore, yeah. Okay, is that going to affect the performance oh, obviously tonight? Obviously, there'll be obviously there'll be no jumping jack flash tonight, kids, and that. You know what I mean? So it'll just be stillism as always. Honestly, they were they were huge. huge they were everywhere, up. Jonathan, man. Not this Manchester. Yeah. They were everywhere. Yeah. yeah, but there were other bands. And, like, I was more of a Blur fan. You no, know, a lot no. of us were. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing it in now. I could tell by what you're wearing, mate. <laughs>